there you go 22 miles per gallon actually very very efficient for a big heavy duty truck what is going on today guys my name's alex welcome back to the channel today we are back with my good buddies ram 2500 a true ram 2500 um, with the 6.7 Cummins engine, beautiful truck. Um, right beside it, we have my 2022 Ram 2500 Power Wagon with the 6.4 Hemi. And today we are gonna be talking about fuel efficiency. As you guys probably have seen, fuel prices have absolutely exploded. And uh, so I figured this would be a good video, um, kind of talking about, first of all, why this beautiful diesel truck is very fuel efficient despite being um, almost 8,000 pounds. Now the truck I own here, like I mentioned, has a 6.4 Hemi. It is not the most fuel efficient truck, unfortunately. Um, if you guys saw my last video when I was filling the truck up at the fuel station, uh, it was not a pretty sight and it happens quite often with this Ram uh, power wagon. So despite my engine being actually a smaller displacement engine and this diesel the 67 diesel being a bigger displacement engine it is actually way more efficient and there's a couple reasons why uh, which i'll get into in a second here so first and foremost uh, there are a couple things that impact this truck negatively in terms of fuel economy let's start with the tires um, these are some pretty aggressive all-terrains goodyear duratrax Whereas um, this 2500 with the Cummins has less aggressive tread, which is gonna help its fuel economy. Um, the second thing is the aerodynamics. This power wagon is two inches taller, and uh, so it's just gonna be less aerodynamic, which once again is just not really good for fuel economy. And the last thing, which is the big thing, is the gearing. Um, so this power wagon has 410 gears in the back, whereas this Ram 2500 with the Cummins has 373 gears in the back. I believe that's what they are. Um, so that is going to impact the fuel economy um, for the power wagon in a negative way right off the bat. However, it is not all negative for the power wagon. There's also a negative for the Cummins, and that is simply the weight of the engine. Um, this Cummins weighs about an extra thousand pounds over the uh, 6.4 in this truck. So this truck is gonna weigh quite a bit more, which will um, impact its fuel economy as well. So those are the major things between um, both of these trucks that are gonna impact the fuel economy. So now before I get into specifics onto why a diesel engine is much more efficient, let's take both these trucks out on the road and actually see what the real world fuel economy numbers are. We got just about, I think it's a 15 kilometer loop just around the shop here and uh, we'll take both trucks on it and I will be trying to drive, you know, very similarly and uh, give you guys some real world fuel economy results between both of these Ram 2500s. All right, we are in the power wagon. We're gonna go for a little loop here and uh, we are going to reset there we go we are reset and uh we'll see how efficient this bad girl is all right so we're cruising at like 17 and a half liters per 100k um really not efficient at all but uh it's it's a heavy duty truck so this truck actually shocked me a little bit um we are averaging 16 .1 liters per 100 kilometers. I'll put the MPG on the screen there for you Americans. Um, I don't think I've ever seen it this low. Granted, the loop we just did was just pure country driving. So it was probably right in the wheelhouse of this truck. So that's what we got with the gas engine. Let's see what we get with the diesel. We just jumped in the diesel right away. This is outrageous. Look at the range of kilometers, over a thousand kilometers. Like on the power wagon right there, I'm lucky to fill up and have like 500 kilometers of range. I'm not even joking. All right, let's see how efficient this thing really is. I actually really like this. It uh, just so much more throttle control and uh, you know, you just tap the pedal, the power's there. It, uh, it's a big difference. 
we have returned there you go 22 miles per gallon actually very very efficient for a big heavy duty truck very impressive all right so we are back from our little road trips around the block not the longest um, little loop but still about 15 kilometers so um, a decent amount and like i said it's a good real world test this truck um, actually shockingly did much much better than i thought normally i'm cruising around at like 20 liters per 100k um, but we got um, just under 14 miles per gallon 13.8 miles per gallon and this truck with the Cummins crushed it. We got 22 miles per gallon, which is kind of what I expected. And it always amazes me um, that, you know, this heavy duty truck that weighs almost 8,000 pounds can get over 20 miles per gallon pretty consistently. And my buddy who drives it, he is usually always over 20 miles per gallon. It doesn't matter what he's doing. It stays pretty consistent like that. So let's get down to the real question. Why is a diesel engine so much more efficient than a gas engine? And there's a couple answers to that. Um, firstly, a liter or a gallon of diesel has about 10 to 15 percent more energy than a liter or a gallon of gas. So right off the bat, there's just more energy in diesel fuel. Therefore, you don't need to burn as much of it to get the same power results. So the second reason is a big reason. It is the thermal efficiency of a diesel engine is much better, up to 40% better than a gas engine. So what do I mean by thermal efficiency? Well, a diesel and a gas engine are both considered heat engines. Um, so basically what they do is they turn heat energy or burnt fuel into mechanical energy, which then can turn the wheels. And a diesel engine does it much, much more efficiently than a gas engine does, um, you know, hence making it more efficient. So what does that process look like? The way a diesel engine works, it compresses air so tightly that it actually gets the air hot enough to ignite the diesel fuel. And the diesel fuel has to be atomized um, or sprayed into a very fine mist. Um, diesel fuel on its own will not ignite. You can put diesel or you can pour diesel on the floor and try igniting it with a match and it will not ignite. You almost have to think of diesel as almost like an oil. Whereas gas engines rely on spark ignition. So the cylinder compression is much lower and the compression ratio is much lower. With the diesel having a much higher compression ratio, this engine specifically has a 16.2 to one compression ratio, whereas the 6.4 Hemi has a 10.0 to one compression ratio. Um, so quite a bit more, or so quite a bit higher compression ratio. That higher compression ratio results in a better thermal efficiency. So when all that air is compressed, that expansion ratio is much greater with a higher compression ratio engine. Think of it as the more air you can compress, the more expansion you can get of it. And the expansion or the explosion is what drives the piston downward, giving you that mechanical energy. That is why the diesel engine has a much better thermal efficiency and it has the ability to use the heat in a much better fashion, whereas the gas engine lets a lot of that heat simply go to atmosphere. Um, the heat is transferred directly to mechanical components, heating up the components rather than actually moving them, if that makes sense. Another good point to talk about is the fact that diesel engines are actually unthrottled. Now, what do I mean by that? So a gas engine, um, controls the air as well as the fuel that goes into the cylinder because a gas engine runs very good at a specific fuel air ratio of its 14.7 to one, also known as stoichiometric. It's quite a funky word, but that's the term for perfect fuel air mixture for a gas engine. Now, a diesel engine does not um, throttle the air. It only controls the fuel. So you can have as much air shoved into a diesel engine and simply uh, the engine will just add fuel. So because a diesel engine can shove much more air into it, 
um, you can get much more power out of it. In fact, a diesel engine likes to run very, very lean. Um, the saying, lean is mean, um, translate directly to a diesel engine. The leaner you can run it, odds are the more power you're gonna get out of it, which sounds kind of crazy, but it is true. The final two points I'll say about diesel efficiency, uh, first is turbocharger. So almost every modern diesel engine is gonna come with a turbocharger because like I just mentioned, you can shove as much air as you want into a cylinder and uh, it just adds to more power. And then my last point about a diesel engine, a modern diesel engine is the after treatment system. Um, so this truck is a 2021, so obviously it's gonna come with your DPF, your SCR, EGR, all that fun after treatment stuff. And that is actually gonna rob this truck of probably anywhere from 15 to 20% fuel economy. So this truck would actually probably be even more efficient if you didn't have that after treatment system. Um, I'm not saying that I recommend you rip them off, but if it wasn't there, um, your truck would be a lot more efficient. That's all I'll say about that. So that kind of concludes why the Ram 2500 with the diesel is much more efficient than my 2022 Ram Power Wagon with the 6.4 gas engine. Um, I thought it would just kind of be a cool comparison, like I said, because the gas prices have kind of exploded and a lot of people are focusing on gas prices. Um, and once again, like I mentioned in my earlier video, It'll be interesting to see what happens with the price of these trucks. Me and my good friend, we were just chatting about this and um, you know, we kind of came to the conclusion that these trucks as well as your Ram 3500s with the diesel, they're kind of more or less work vehicles and people who need them are still gonna need them. So I don't think the prices of these trucks will necessarily drop. However, you know, your $100,000, $80,000 Ram 1500, I think is gonna kind of plummet, um, as well as, I hate to say it, potentially the Power Wagon, um, you know, because it is more of a luxury truck. It's not necessarily a work truck. It's more of a toy. And I know people are gonna hate hearing that, but it kind of is true. So I think the market for these things are gonna fall, um, at least for the time being, when the fuel prices stay as high as they are. But as always guys, if you wanna add something to the conversation about um, diesel fuel efficiency or um, you know the power wagon, feel free to drop a comment down below and I will get back to you. But as always, I hope you guys liked the video and if you did, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. And if you guys like cool stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe. We got lots of stuff planned. Um, but enough of me, we'll see you in the next freaking video.